This is the new Build to Order HDB project located at the new Bidadari Estate. It offers 4 and 5 room units. Welcome to our new 4 room unit at Akka Vista Bidadari. I am the designer for this home and this project was awarded to multiple contractors that made our dream home into reality. Let's begin at the foyer where we have created a shoe rack. This rack provides a display shelf and is able to accommodate up to 8 pair of shoes. Below it, we have created a parking space for the robot vacuum cleaner. We currently have a first generation Xiaomi robot cleaner and a power socket is provided for it to charge. I am glad that this design has actually worked out very well for the robot. Look, it is able to find its way back to the dock. Within the same area, I have also accommodated a pull-out stool to provide the convenience of putting on our shoes. Let's go down memory lane to the door opening ceremony of our new unit. This is the original state of our unit. Our unit provides an unblocked view at the northwest direction, the open concept kitchen and the dining area. Bedroom 1, Bedroom 2 and finally our master bedroom. The space between the foyer and the dining area is divided by the shoe rack. Our dining area space is spacious and it is illuminated by the sitting LED spotlights. The huge mirrors at the foyer brightens the area and provide an awesome wider space illusion. We have chosen a tile separation to define a clean and dirty area at the foyer. The dining area uses the huge 1.2 meters by 60 cm homogeneous tiles. The seating is decorated with vinyl wooden texture that provides the warm and cozy ambience. The air conditioning pipes and electrical wires are concealed using wood materials and perforated boards along the hallway. The strong material allows me to mount my awesome Dali Obron 1 walnut speaker. The walls of bedroom 1 has been taken down and replaced with glass panels and sliding doors. This allows more natural sunlight to brighten the dining area. This is not an ordinary storage space. It hides away the light switches for our living room and dining area and our remote controls. This allows us to hide these items away from naughty kids. Below it, we have custom made a movable side table with a gorgeous Macrina Southstone Quartz table top. It can be pulled out easily to be used next to our sofa. Our living room area is designed to accommodate a home theater system and storage spaces wherever possible. At the rear end, I could place my surround speakers and my ZZ plants behind our luxurious leather sofa. Whenever I use my workstation from the study room, I would be able to watch the TV through the clear glass panel. The TV and the seating area has been reorientated such that we can enjoy the spectacular Northwest Unblocked view. As the leather sofa is very sensitive to sunlight, we have installed motorized smart curtain system such that the day curtain would automatically shut in the afternoon. The blockout curtain provides an awesome movie theater experience. The backdrop of our TV console is decorated with a chevron arranged thick wooden texture. Below it, we have an AV console storage area and it is able to fit up to 4 AV devices or it can be used as an ordinary storage space. Behind the chevron doors, we have a huge storage space. 
the middle storage areas are designed to store items that we seldom retrieve as it's a little cumbersome to retrieve. For the sides, we can easily tuck away items and keep our living space clutter free. My apologies for our messiness inside. Behind the metal mesh are my awesome Dali home theatre speakers again. I love this design as it is so easy to clean our TV console, yet there is no sacrifice to the sound quality of the speakers. Let's go to our kitchen. We have reconfigured the kitchen to provide a U-shaped layout. The kitchen now offers so much space for carpentry and it is combined with a dining table. We have chosen not to build a kitchen island due to high cost. Instead, we have requested for a custom-made dining table to match the height of the kitchen countertop. It is movable and it's able to accommodate up to 8 seats when it is shifted out. We have also chosen to use aluminium backsplash as it is easy to maintain and there is no need to worry about fingerprints. I use an induction cooker as it is minimal easy to clean and maintain. Under the cooker, we have 7 bloom tandem box drawer system. Comes with a sauce drawer and the 50kg tandem box drawer to store our kitchen wares. And lastly, we have also purchased the bloom cutlery trays and accessories as shown. Above, we have casement storage and the power control switches at the left. Under the sink, we have mounted an IKEA waste bin pull-out tray and recycled carton boxes as pull-out storages. Next to it, we have designed a pull-out drawer for our rice cooker, water kettle, cling wraps, ziplock, chopping boards, rice and pasta mortar. With so many items, a 50kg bloom runner is used to support these heavy items. Above the oven, we have utilized the deep space by adding a pull-out drawer to store coffee, teas, spices and other containers. Over at the other side, we had snacks. This dishwasher is really a lifesaver. It has helped to save our precious time from hand washing our kitchen wares. In our country, water is precious and it's expensive. This machine has helped to save a lot of water from our hand washing process. I would like to emphasize the importance of planning your kitchen layout and how great a U kitchen is. My dishwasher and my kitchenware drawers are all within reach. Over at the top, we have hydraulic casement doors to cover up the mess and electrical wires, exhaust duct, but it also serves as a hidden storage compartment to store our supplies. Moving on to our master bedroom, we have divided the space to fit a walking wardrobe. Having said that, we still managed to fit a king size bed includes two mini side tables with a bedside lamp. LED lights mounted under the pelmets surrounding the room helps to provide a balance of lighting reflecting from the wall. The position of our bed allows us to enjoy the spectacular unblocked view. The Harry Bond pink laminated textured wall creates a balance over our wooden headboard and deep blue walls. The hidden column is built with hanging rails to hang clothing with good ventilation. We have a dressing table with a drawer where my wife could easily access her Dyson hair dryer. Over at the front, I have designed an open shelving and display shelf for storage and her handbags respectively. The shelf and the door panels are slidable to access the walk-in wardrobe or to allow my wife easy access to her accessories for the dressing table. Perforated boards is used for the shelf such that we can utilize this vertical space for my snapbacks or decoration purpose. Inside the wardrobe, 
we have an AA track system where we can customize the racks according to our needs. Over at the left, we have a high tabletop space with an IKEA packboard to decorate our space. And we have so many drawers to store our clothes and accessories. Over at the master bathroom, we have opt for a glass door with a black frame. It fits very well to our home team. Let's take a look inside. We are inspired by the Tazio textures along with the old shop houses in Germany and we decided to give a retro twist to our toilet tile selection. The Macrina South Stone Quartz tabletop is so gorgeous with our Grohe tab and undermount sink. Above the sink, the end-to-end -end mirror storage cupboard provides an illusion of a larger toilet. A concealed rain shower wall is built with a huge open shelf that allows us to store so many of our shampoos and body wash. Next, we decide to replicate the exact same theme to our common bathroom. The darker Tazio tiles provides a visual separation between the wet and the dry area. We love how well the old school mini rectangular white tiles matched with our Italian grey Tazio tiles. We designed the mirror cabinet a little differently to allow us to hide away our fragrance diffuser at the side. Over at the side, the open shelf allows the sand to diffuse around the toilet. Finally, we head over to our study room. It is designed with flexibility to be converted as a proper bedroom. Under my study table, we have open shelves for storage and a hidden cable management compartment. We have created a cozy corner recessed from the side and the above storage compartments. Over at the right, we have designed a full-size wardrobe pull-out cabinet. However, I am only able to show you half the length as it is blocked by my amazing rope bike. For now, this is my man cave. At the bottom, I have designed four equal sized benches that can be customized to fit a single size bed. These benches can be reconfigured or orientated. It can be reduced to a mini cozy space or convert into a two seater table, four seater table, or eight seater table arrangement. This cozy space provides an awesome view to the roof garden above the multi-story car park. The sliding doors creates a space separation from the dining area. It also helps to filter out noise from either space. Pelmet is created around the ceiling beam to hide away the sliding door mechanisms and the roller blinds. The roller blinds provides maximum privacy to be a proper bedroom. Coming back to the foyer, we have a huge storage area behind these giant mirrors. There is so much abundance of space such that we only manage to occupy half of its capacity. Everything you have seen have been drawn to measure and simulated using SketchUp. This software has helped to provide the virtual simulation of space planning, creation of special or hidden features around the house, and provide visual cues to how the combination of colors and textures would fit our clean and modern team. I wish that my design has helped to inspire you to plan for your next dream home. Do let me know if you wish to find out more. Thanks for watching.